In this video, I'm going to show you how Henry uses the gun bunch halfback strong to make his bunch offense be the perfect complement and basically make his offense almost unstoppable. Now, if you are new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. I also want to ask you that you would consider to join our Patreon. If you don't know what that is, that's basically... Um, essentially my website if you will um, it's where you can support me as a creator and what i do on the patreon for the patreon members is we release uh, all of my madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks so if you sign up for the patreon you're actually going to get access to all 15 offenses and defensive guides uh, the bunch is one of 15 of those ebooks and then of course we've got updates in there we got pro player breakdowns pretty in depth uh, and then we also have some private messaging platforms within the patreon where you can ask your questions and kind of uh, chat that way. So if you are uh, wanting to get better at this game, I would really encourage you to consider joining our Patreon. There'll be a link in the description if you want to check that out. Um, all you got to do is click that link and you can go get signed up. So guys, Henry uh, is, uh, again, you know, people are saying, you know, probably one of the better players this year, if not the best player this year, probably one of the best players, I would say, over the last two to three years that he's been playing competitive Madden and been eligible. He has just been absolutely insane. And a lot of that is because what I like about Henry is there's a lot of innovation within his system. And whenever he's building offenses, he uses innovation and just does little things, little things that most people don't do, at least at the level that he does it. And one of the things that he does is he'll oftentimes audible from the gun bunch to the bunch halfback strong. So if you take a look here, I could just audible, like I could just motion this guy over here and create bunch halfback strong but what henry likes to do is audible to it now one of the main reasons why he likes to audible to this so much is for this post route over here um, which is one of the better post routes in the entire game and so what henry can do is basically run bunch trail but it's bunch trail on steroids so you got a hot route master type quarterback all he's going to do is simply take the uh, slot receiver here whether it be godwin or miller and put one of them on a, on a corner route He's got the best blocking in the game from this play-action blocking perspective. Very, very effective uh, concept. And then he's got this post. Now, uh, this post is going to basically cook majority of coverages in this game. I'll show you uh, why it's so good. So, again, you don't have to block this tight end. You could actually put him on a route if you wanted to. For example, you could go with a corner route to Scotty Miller, a hitch route to Chris Godwin, and a drag route um, to this uh, tight end. I think that's one of the better ways to run this play. But anyways, you can kind of create what you want with those three. You just need the corner route. And what you're going to see is against cover two, he's just going to get super separation over the top, as you can see, and he's going to be able to beat the cover two. Now, not only is this good against cover two, but it's actually really, really good against match coverage, such as like a cover six, um, which I don't have in my playbook here. But the reason why is because whenever you go to a, it's called the rule of four or four strong, for whatever reason, Madden doesn't allow the matching principles to be effective uh, if you do that. It's kind of like with cover three match, the match principles essentially cancel and it turns into just basically cover three if you're in a compression set or even if you're in a trip set. Well, that's the same thing that happens with this. So what you could do, um, let me just show you here. So like, let's say I'm trying to run a corner route. So this is cover four quarters. Let's say I try to run this corner route and I'm just gonna run this little concept like this and then we'll even put a skinny post up there for good measure. So you see, this is what it looks like. What you're going to notice here is on the right side of the screen, that corner route is going to get guarded by that corner because he's in a box check match quarters uh, kind of coverage style. Well, what you're going to notice is if, let's say, I, so I'm going to set up the exact same defense. Nothing has changed, exact same defense, but now I'm going to run that combination out of the bunch halfback strong. So we're going to go corner route, um, drag, hitch, and then we've got our post coming over the top. And what you're going to notice is this corner route now is going to be wide open to the sideline for you to be able to hit it. So I think it's one of the more innovative setups that he has. And it's very good against cover four, uh, cover four drop, cover four show two, either one of those uh, concepts. This is a very, very good setup. And again, it's real simple. Um, and you've got this nice post over here. you got that hitch as a little check down. But what's really cool is, again, I can't stress enough how good that corner route is. If you also take a look at the coverage, what you're going to notice is I'm, I've got the ball in about the 20-yard line. And so that corner route is going to be uh, in a position where it's going to actually mess with a lot of zone drops. For example, let's say that they go to the Mike Blitz 3 and they run a double Mabel concept. What you're going to notice here is, again, we still have our uh, obviously our match coverage that we're able to take care of. But now take a look. Here's the cover 3. 
uh, Mabel, and you're going to notice that this corner route gets wide open on the sideline. So it just puts them in a position where you know they're just not in a good spot. Obviously, if they run cover two, you're going to be able to hit them over the top. Now, the cover three, and I will show, I don't want to show too much uh, in this video on this because there's going to be more to come. Uh, so make sure you're subbed to the channel. But what you're going to notice here is, let's say, for example, they're in Mike Woods three. Oftentimes with this this uh, this cover three uh, or this uh, PA bunch shot, when you can create, you know, something like this, what you're going to notice is there's a chance that this post can bomb the cover three. You're going to wait till he's there, and then you're going to pass lead to the inside. See how he keeps running? And then oftentimes you can click on and make that play, and you have yourself a cover three beater. One of the beauties of this is this is, like I said, it's basically bunch trail on steroids because that post route is so deep that it just puts them in a tough position. So let's say, for example, maybe you wanted to, you can always, and again, use motion to mess with them. So you could go with something like this even, um, if you will, something like this look right here. Well, now you got a wheel, um, one of the most hard or one of the most difficult routes to guard in all of Madden 22, as I butchered the pass lead, uh, but you've got a wheel over there on that left side now if you wanted to. Now, I want to give you one last little piece that you can utilize out of this. So you go to the PA butt shot, and what we're going to do here is we're going to drag our tight end. We're going to flat Chris Godwin, and then we're going to uh, put the uh, Scotty Miller there on a post, and we're going to wheel um, Fournette. So you see this is kind of what the play is going to look like. What you're going to get with this is great check down reads, and then if they're not uh, using this route to Fournette, it's almost always going to be wide open. So you can kind of freestyle a little bit out of this formation. Um, it's also got a wheel route to the tight end in this tight end vertical with four strong, which I think is ridiculously good. So you could do something like this if you wanted to. Uh, this wheel to the running back is just going to get into a nice little pocket. You can throw it very easily. Um, there's so much you could do with Bud Strong. Most people don't realize how good this formation really is. And it's also, you have to remember, you can't, um, most of, most blitzes can get picked up with a block tight end. You could motion the tight end if you wanted to. See how he's going to now become a slot receiver. So there's just a lot that you could do with this. Uh, the sky is really the limit, to be honest. Um, this post route right here is one of the better uh, short, what I call short post routes, because you can click on and kind of make that diving catch animation that we saw Astro make some in the uh, in the tournament. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to kind of put a video out and explain that this is a really really good check. And and again, what you could do with this, let's say let's say I get heavy pressure, and let's say I want to put my tight end on a flat. Well, now this PA block, if I cancel it, it's going to pick up the pressure. Whereas before you couldn't couldn't really pick up the pressure with a running back okay so now you can pick up a lot of pressure pretty much any pressure they go with you're going to have a real good shot at picking that up the same thing with this pa dig fork um kind of similar link to this uh but anyways pa bunch shot and then like i said you can do all kinds of stuff off of this um you know for example I'll just give you some some basic stuff this motion um this little motion corner is pretty underrated this year so what you'll see here is that time the purple actually got out there which is why most people don't but i would just say try the motion corner out it's good for like man press it's there's some there's some reasons as to why you would want to do that um, another thing you could do kind of similar to bunch trail is you can actually motion this guy over on a vertical so you see here we're going to motion this uh receiver over on a streak whoops let me make sure it's a straight streak and what you're going to notice is now the cover three you have a re even better chance at getting over the top of that cover three coverage, as you can see. And that post is just an absolute backbreaker. Uh, most of the routes in Madden 22, I would say, you know, there's a lot of good passing concepts, but there's not necessarily like the wheel route is a backbreaking route, but like this route right here, and you can smart route it; it'll get it to go a little sharper. Um, but this route right here is an absolute like just money, money route. Cause you can aggressive catch that so well in this into that kind of general area of the field. So anyways, guys, just wanted to do a quick video on this and explain, walk through what the bunch strong is and how much can really add to your bunch. Because a lot of the stuff that people are gonna do to stop bunch can't really stop bunch trail. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video breakdown. And if you wanna get my full Patreon membership, it's only $10 a month and it gets you access to everything. We're actually gonna be doing some pretty in-depth um, film study videos. I recently um, I recently 
uh, have been just dealing with some illness and then we went skiing and uh, hurt my knee so kind of bear with me on that but there is stuff coming so just hang with me uh, we got a lot of stuff i dropped i think five new uh, breakdowns into the patreon this last week so we put we definitely put stuff in there pretty much every week so if you want to get better head over to the patreon if you're still watching the video there's a link in the description if you want to check it out head on down there click that link and it'll take you right over to the membership